ever talk about me. He's got the quarterback sneak and he's in for the touchdown. Oh, this is going to be so close. Oh, my gosh, Jim. I remember the championship game being more emotional than winning the Super Bowl. I've, done, I've never done a championship game, and I'm going to tell you, this is one of the best games I've ever seen. Falcons are in their first NFC title game while the Vikings are trying to get back to the Super Bowl for the first time since losing to Oakland in Super Bowl 11. Chandler drop up the middle, touchdown. Randall Cunningham sees man to man. He's just going to throw a jump ball. Wise thing to do. Here's Cunningham again going deep. The touchdown. He's in the end zone. Randy Moss. Well, we have this team that is just a, a wrecking ball. O.J. Santiago is tied in and another loose ball. We are annihilating teams. Crouches under the center, straight ahead and dives into the end zone. Gary Anderson puts the Vikings ahead. We are 14 and two and we have to go on the road and we're underdogs. We're just gonna hand the trophy to the Vikings now. Not so fast. Cunningham drops, Moss goes deep. Cunningham lost the ball somehow. We just said what Atlanta needs is a turnover, and this would be a big, big one if they get this. They got it. Chandler dropped. Touchdown, just like that. And that'll bring on Anderson. And Anderson hasn't missed in two years. <laughs> what could go wrong? Everything. So that's a pretty good bet if you say, do you think Gary Anderson will make this field goal? The answer should probably be yes. 39 yards away. And it's not good. The Falcons have one timeout. They have the ball as Anderson misses. Hold it left. Second and ten, he drops. Out of the pocket. Touchdown. The end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown. Atlanta. Does he have it? Yes. yes. Touchdown, Falcons. So do well. And it's overtime. And it's time to get these guys. All right, our guy missed one. Let's see if their guy missed one. He's handled the pressure before. Anderson is good. He knows it. They know it. As soon as I hit it, I started running because I knew it was good. Nobody gave us a chance to win the NFC Championship game, and that's what made it so beautiful when it happened. Morton Anderson and the Atlanta Falcons ended 30 to 27. There is no love lost between these two teams as the Seahawks host the 49ers for all the marbles to go to the Super Bowl. Cut. Quick snap, Wilson keeps it, trying to get him going, and balls out, knocked it out, and got on top, and a tailback. He gets it, and touchdown. It was real. These teams really didn't like each other. It's Lynch, it's a first down. Marshawn is in for the touchdown. Trouble and now throws. End zone. Caught for the touchdown. Fellas, this is stay on schedule. Stay on schedule. Keep your point. It was so fun. Just like Russell Wilson making magic happen. It's a free play. Into the end zone. The pass. Caught. Touchdown. And the Seahawks take the lead. We got to get our mind right. Touchdown. Win. Three minutes for your life right now. Three and minutes and 37 seconds. With a chance to take the lead. Crabtree, broken up, picked off! This game is over! Knocked in the air, off the hands of Richard Sherman. Well, I'm the best corner in the game. When you try me with a sorry receiver like Crabtree, that's the result you're gonna get. Don't you ever talk about me! We'd been run over by the Cowboys two years in a row. In 92, we were the big dogs, had been that way for a long time, and they beat us, and then kind of embarrassed us in our own place. The 93, we went down to Dallas and got beat up pretty bad. There was a lot riding on that game. There was a lot of pressure on them, a lot of pressure on Steve Young. Yeah, we just got off to a terrible start. In, intercepted by Eric Davis, and Davis will score for the 49ers. Aikman back. Pass is caught and dropped and left on the ground. San Francisco ball. Here's Young, pump fake. Outside the Waters, Waters inside the 10. Touchdown, he was in. Kickoff, Kevin Williams' third kickoff return of the day. 
Need something to happen again. The ball is loose. And again, San Francisco recovered. They went up 21-0, and, and, and I remember the fight back. Ricky Jackson on the rush. Going deep. Michael Irvin, touchdown, Dallas. I'm most proud of that game of any of the games I played in because we, we just didn't quit. Emmett Smith is going to get in the end zone. So all of a sudden, emotionally, we like, hey, we're in a fight. So this is a, we, we had a little counter punch. Touchdown. To start the second half, Dexter Carter. Fumble. Ball loose. Dallas has it in the offensive line. Emmett Smith, touchdown, Dallas. Young is alone. Here's that quarterback draw set up. And Young gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Steve Young. That is a terrific catch. Blair Thomas is the running back. They fake to him, and Aikman throws the end zone. Mervin. Touchdown, Dallas. We're in this game. Tell me we're in this game. In the one play that I promise you, it crosses my mind every single day. At the San Francisco 43, Aikman again will have to throw and does and goes deep. Pass is incomplete. The whole Cowboy sideline is looking for a penalty on this one. The no pass interference call that was clearly against Deion Sanders. I know right now all you Cowboy fans are saying, Grandma, how can you sell us out like that? I ain't saying y'all. I'm telling the truth. When we beat Dallas in a championship game, that was the Super Bowl. It was like putting a flag on the top of Everest. Dallas had gone down. The same people that said, Joe is the man and that's never gonna change, I think suddenly said, it's all right. Steve can do it and Joe can do it and we're all good because we're from San Francisco and we're 49er fans. Montana looking to end zone, looking for Wilson. Touchdown! We're on the sideline. This guy's been back and quickly he goes in the corner. Knocked away at the last second intended for Alvin Garrett. Knocked away by Collier. I, I flags, see a flag down. Flags down. It's going to be against the 49ers. Holding number 42 defense. Automatic first down. To this day, I still say that it wasn't a holding call. Of course, the 49ers didn't take that time out to let Mosley think about it. They had to take the time out to buy themselves some time for when they get the ball. This one is good. So now, one play away from the Super Bowl, they can stop it. Triple right formation. Up for grabs. Oh, man, here it comes. It is. He caught it. He caught the oh, ball. Man. No, more than rule. Incomplete for the moment. But it appeared that the miracle had been answered. Aaron Bailey almost with a reception. And the Steelers have won. And what an effort by the men who made the game, the underdogs from Indianapolis. Weatherford hits it. Kyle Williams lost the ball. It's recovered by the Giants. Low snap. The kick is good. In this situation, second and one. Flacco to the end zone. And it was Sterling Moore who took it away from Evans this time in the fourth quarter on field goals. 32 yards to tie it. And the kick. Look out! Look out! It's no good! It's no good! Cleveland had a really good year. Uh, Kozar and that group, they were dominant. We knew we had our hands full going in there. We're going into the dog pound. <laughs> I remember that all of the media had been brought down to the field in anticipation of the end of the game, and we saw them wheeling the championship trophy into the Cleveland locker room. Oh, a critical mistake by Gene Lang. I think he panicked, Dick. He covered it on the two-yard line. And the Broncos are 98 yards away from where they need to go. Our left guard, uh, Keith Bishop, said, you know what, boys? We got him right where we want him. L.A. to Winder to the seven. 3.23 left. L.A.'s got some running room. And 
dives out to the 26-yard line. He was asked to do ball control offense until, you know, two minutes left, and he calls his own plays, and they cut him loose, and it's like, away we go. Complete to Mark Jackson. But a long ways to the end zone. John Elway has just thrown the touchdown to Mark Jackson. But that just tied the game. Then we lost the toss for overtime. We stopped him three and out. Got that field goal that went right over the upright. Carlos's kick is on the way, and it is gone! It was the day Elway became Elway. From Mile High Stadium, the Browns against the Broncos for the right to go to the Super Bowl. It's the rematch the Browns have long awaited. With Sewell in motion. He throws wide open, touchdown, Ricky Nateel. And the touchdown for Gene Lang. So third and ten and a half, Elway runs into his own man and finally throws it complete to Jackson, who gets a first down and more. He may go all the way. Touchdown. Goes up. To Biner, well thrown. Ernest Biner, touchdown. Ernest Biner, touchdown. Biner's second score of this third quarter. Underneath the slaughter for a touchdown. The Browns are within a point of equalizing matters. Touchdown. It's the Broncos 38, the Browns 31. Fasten your seatbelts. Draw to Biner. Ernest Biner. Fumble. Fumble the ball, and Denver has recovered. Oh, my. It's so hard to watch. It's devastating. What a heartbreak for Biner, who had picked up the first down, who was ready to take it into the end zone. The Patriots try to defy the conventional thought that this team has to be at home to win in the postseason. It'll give it to him. Michelle powers in for the touchdown. We knew it was going to be a hostile environment against a team that was going to be the best team you played that year to go to the Super Bowl. It's caught for the touchdown. Philip Dorsett. Now the question is, how are we going to respond? That's all with that. Our uh, quarter. Our uh half. -huh. It's a monster third down if there's ever been one this early. Here's Mahomes, all kinds of time. So Hex Crew gave him the protection he longed for. And he's going long for Watkins. Down at the 10. That quarterback, someone, there's magic, and they can just make stuff Here happen. Here he goes to the end zone, and it's caught by Kelsey for a touchdown. Setting up the Chiefs just a yard away. Sends Watkins in motion. Mahomes rolling out. Throws it. Caught for the touchdown. The Chiefs are right in the thick of it, baby, here in the AFC Championship game. 101 on 27 carries. They fake to him on the play action. And the pass is intercepted. That's Sorensen with the football on the deflection. There's a chance to come right after him with everyone again. Coming to the near side to Williams. He's got a hole wide up the field. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. The Kansas City Chiefs lead the New England Patriots after Kansas City was shut out in the first 30 minutes of the game. Here's the handoff and to the end zone The Sony Michelle. Jones was hurt on the fall, so he's come out for this play. Second and 10. Wide open. Watkins. 20. 10. Switch back down to the two. Got to have a play on the north side of it. Handoff up the middle with another touchdown. This ball's got to go outside to one of the receivers in a double move. Hands in the pocket. Flags out, balls picked. Ball is intercepted and comes out of the hands of Ward for a moment. But he had it long enough, I believe, but he got a flag down. Offside, defense number 55. Whenever you get a second chance, you got to be ready. I just know, Tom, in that situation, I just knew the ball was going to come to me no matter what. Goes down the field to Gronk, turns around, makes the catch. Out here with four yards away. They're going to run this ball. Kansas City's got to sell out. There's a handoff to Burkhead. Bulls ahead. Touchdown. 
They're not protecting the touchdown or anything yet. He's about 10 yards to give him a chance. Flag out. Pass down the field. Caught at the 21. That's it. Now to tie it. Rutgers kick. It is good all the way. The Chiefs have tied the game at 31 to 31. Once again, Edelman in the middle of the field. Pocket sealed. Down the middle. Edelman again with a third down catch. The safety, if he comes down, there's a good chance he's throwing out there. It's Gronk for the first down. New England tried to play action earlier. I can't see it here. This has to be a run. Second. They give to Burkett. Runs it left for the win. And they're bound for Super Bowl 53. New England is heading back again for the third straight year. You know, you have two of the greatest quarterbacks of all time going up against one another. Some people were doubting Peyton, can he win the big game? Can he beat Tom Brady? There's such a history between these clubs going way back. Well, then the game starts, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, things are not happening the way that we plan. Fumbles going the wrong way. And the Colts in the scrum. No, the ball's in the end zone, and the Patriots have recovered for a touchdown. First and goal to go. Going in with ease. Touchdown, New England. This is supposed to be our time, though, right? We need this to be our time, and our time is running out. And his pass is intercepted. It's Asante Samuel going in untouched. And I went over to the offensive guys on the sideline. I said, hey, it's still our time. I promise you we're going to win this game. Went out there in that third quarter and started putting some points on the board. Touchdown. First the touchdown, a must. His man and rolls out. He has Klecko open, and Klecko is in for the touchdown. And he wasn't just saying it, just to say it. I mean, he truly believed it. And you know what, if he believes it, then we need to believe it. Third and goal. Brady again. Move right. About to plant the feet and fire. Back to the end zone and touchdown. This is our moment to beat that team that you just couldn't beat to do it. And we are going to make this thing happen. Far more options from here. Trying to score it into the ball, come out. And the Colts trying to say, yes, they recovered now a fumble for a touchdown. It's Jeff Saturday, right back at you, they say, to New England. We felt like, oh man, now we're starting to get some breaks. Another running for the dive, walks in for the touchdown. 59 minutes we've been behind. We got the lead with a minute to go. I remember right then, I was looking at the clock, and I said, they got Tom Brady at quarterback. I mean, this is kind of where he's made his mark. You have your arch rival here. I don't even think Peyton's going to watch. Intercepted. Colts are going to the Super Bowl. We have just witnessed the largest comeback ever in a conference championship game. This one could close it out. Brady, though, goes down the field to Gronkowski, and he has the football at the 10-yard line. With the game on the line, Brady in the pocket, end zone down, and it is caught by Gronkowski. Here's Brady, rolling out, rolling and throwing. It's kept in the air, and it's intercepted. And the Denver defense saves it at the end. Blitz coming from the Giants, Favre looking for driver and it's picked off. Intercepted by Webster. Can he send the Giants to the Super Bowl? The kick is good and the Giants are going to the Super Bowl. You talk about a big play, biggest one of the game right here. He's back, he throws the pass and it's intercepted. Jordan Palomalo at the 40, 35, 30, blockers at the 25. He's running right, right at the 15. He turns and goes for the goal line, and he's in for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Touchdown, Guadalajara with a big pick, and this place is on fire. Guard sprints to his right, throws back across the middle, and he's intercepted. Porter, the return by Porter. Hartley sends the Saints to the Super Bowl. from Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Jack, your thoughts here as we're moments away from the kickoff. I think it's very cold, Ray. The Cowboys stayed in Texas all week long, came up here Friday. 
We didn't quite anticipate this 12 or 14 below zero, which is what it is. Why can't they play the championship game at a warm weather site? Because we've still got a sellout crowd here at Lambeau Field, that's why. The count takes the ball, back to throw, pumps one up the middle, a pass is complete, to Dollar for the touchdown in the end zone. Star begins the count, takes the ball, takes the handoff, back to throw, fires a long one, it is complete to Boy Dollar, he'll go into the end zone for the touchdown. Star takes the snap from center, he's going back to throw. Andre is chasing him, and he is way back there. He drops the football, it's picked up by George Andre, and he moves it into the end zone for the touchdown. By halftime, the field crusted over. Bob Hayes, when he was in the pattern, he would come out with his hands at his side. When he was not in the pattern, he would have his hands in his pants. The footing was so bad, and catching the ball was difficult. So one score could make a big difference. And that uh, score of Rensels was like a knife in the heart. The pitch out to Reeves, he'll throw the option pass. Way downfield, it is complete to Lance Rensel. He's at the 10, the 5, and into the end zone for the touchdown. And it's the Dallas Cowboys 17, the Green Bay Packers 14. I would say that the Packers have got their work cut out for them now. They get the ball at the 32-yard line. The Cowboys had a great defense. This was a situation that needed everything we had, each and every one of us. Starr takes the ball, backpedals, flips a short pass, completes to Anderson, he's at the 35. All the Hall of Famers on the field, New Year's Eve, everybody's watching it. It's a historical moment in the history of sport, that game. Complete to Chuck Mercine, he's at the 25, the 20, down to the 15, and out of bounds at about the 11 yard line. They are still inches away from that goal line. Just inches, 16 seconds remaining. It was third down. But they had no more timeouts left, so theoretically it's the last play of the game because they can't stop the clock if they don't get the touchdown. Third down, inches to go to Bader. 17 to 14, Cowboys out in front. Packers trying for the go-ahead score. Takes the snap. He's got the quarterback sneak and he's in for the touchdown and the Packers are out in front. And the Green Bay Packers are going to be champions for the third straight year. That might be the most significant game in history of the NFL. I don't see how you can talk about the NFL and not talk ice ball. In their last 27 home games, the Seahawks are 25 and two. The Green Bay Packers, the number one scoring offense in the league. As we like to say, something's gotta give. Typically, he's better than the receiver at playing the ball. Here's one pass into the air and the rookie Clinton Dix on the return. Well, that first half was not going well. The ball was going all over the place. They're making plays. Free play. Rodgers is going to go to the end zone. He's got a touchdown. We were all pretty glum for the first bit of it. He's going to air it out. Good coverage and picked off. It's a real testament of life. There can definitely be some lows, but how we how we adjust and how we overcome them is, is everything. The first points of the day from Hauschka. Pull a fake, holy smoke! And went for the fake field goal and it worked to perfection. John Ryan is a really good athlete, fakes, fakes the field goal, gets to the outside, and there's Gilliam, the former tight end, makes the nice, easy catch for the touchdown. Second and 10. This one floated. That's Lynch. Pass is caught. And then just all these series of events started happening. This whole new game came upon us. Good kick up into the air. Inside the 25. Here's Lynch. Lynch! Marshawn Lynch! Baseball! Touchdown! Wilson out to his right. Big trouble. Up for grabs. And caught! By Luke Wilson! I think at that moment it was like that just happened. Seattle's gonna somehow win this game. The overtime period coming your way from CenturyLink Field. Toward the end zone. It is caught. Seattle's going to the Super Bowl. Jermaine Curse. The Seahawks are going back to the Super Bowl. It just reminded us of how many ways there are to win and why you always keep hanging and you always know something good is just about to happen. And, and sure enough, it did. They had already been anointed the three P. Out of the spread formation. The snap without looking. Down. First and 10, 49ers, their own 39 yard line. Pass is caught by Taylor. He could be gone. 
Touchdown! Word had gotten out that they had started shipping all of their stuff to Tampa, getting ready for the Super Bowl. So Bill Parcells came in with a, uh, a suitcase and it says, I don't know about you, but I'm planning for two weeks. He was offended that they would take us so lightly and we were even more pissed. Here's Montana, long time in the pocket. But chased out, finally hit from behind. The ball's loose and turnover maybe. Right there is a hit. Leonard Marshall coming from the backside. Boy, Montana up, but woozy. If Joe Montana wasn't in it, we knew that we could impact the game. Lawrence came in the huddle and says, we're not losing, we need to get a turnover. It was a call to action. Three again, hit behind the line of scrimmage, and the Giants have the ball. Lawrence Taylor out of the pack. You knew that the Giants were going for it, so who should get it, Lawrence Taylor? Here's Hostetler chased out of the pocket. Chased by Burt. Pass is caught by Bavaro. Ocean man got tangled up in the play and Hostetler back to throw it. Scrambles right, throws right, caught and out of bounds. And it all goes on his shoulders. All depends on Matt Barr. Oh my goodness. If the field goal is good, they win. He also wrote one time, I'm not just a kicker, I'm a player. And the kick is good. There will be no three-peat. Good! And the good. Giants are going to Tampa Bay. Breeze, protection breaks down. Ball is up for grabs and caught. Picked off. That snap. The kick is good. Rams win it. And on to Super Bowl 53 they go. Someone's going to make a play put their team in the Super Bowl. Warner going deep. Touchdown, touchdown. Comes down to this. Sean King firing deep to the end zone. The ball is batted out of the end zone by the Rams. And incomplete. Brady goes for the deep shot. He's got a touchdown. Scotty Miller. Moves, throws, pass broken up. Toss to Godwin. He's got the first down, and this game's over. And now they have a heck of a fight in their hand. Aikman quickly. The pass to Harper. Harper off to the races. They're going to run him down, however, at about the nine yard line. Aikman to throw. Kelvin Martin, touchdown. And there's a point in the game that you realize you're going to the Super Bowl, and those are extreme. Pass yeah. is picked off by Washington. And the only thing else I got to say is, how about them Cowboys? Yeah! 49ers and Cowboys are the two best teams in the league. Whoever win this game will win the Super Bowl. It was a game going back and forth. There were so many great plays. The Solomon who goes over. White going to go high down the left side to Tony Hill. Made the reception to a touchdown. Second and six from the 20. Cooper in motion. Elliott stays in the block. And Montana throwing in the end zone to Clark. Touchdown. As I was going through that game, I did start to get the feel, wow, this is this is awesome. You know, the back and forth of it. Only a tight end, but there goes Dorsett, untouched in the end zone. First and goal from the one. Johnny Davis, touchdown! With Duck Cosby, the tight end. Play action fake. White shutting up into the end zone to Cosby. Touchdown. 27-21 Dallas. Call a sprint option. He's going to break up and break into the corner. Okay, you got it. The right will clear. There wasn't a doubt in our mind that we were going to score on down. Third down and three. He rolls right, looking to throw. Looking to throw, and he throws into the end zone. Touchdown! Big moment for our team, a big moment for the city, a big moment for the game of football.